coming in. You were mentioning Derek O'Brien's tweet and that is what we are going to now bring to our viewers. There are new accusations coming in from the opposition. TMC parliamentarian Derek O'Brien has now just tweeted saying that censorship in parliament uh, is taking place. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke, no MP from the opposition, TMC, Congress, AAP, BRS, CPIM and others were shown exercising that democratic right inside Rajya Sabha. Shane's Sunset TV. He's said that it's worse than any emergency of five decades ago. Let me quickly go back to Pallavi to put this into context for us. Pallavi, uh, important to talk about how Prime Minister Modi may have silenced his critics already during his speech because he talks about how Indira Gandhi during the time of emergency was already, uh, uh, was in fact busy uh, subsiding or rather uh, obfuscating free speech. So every time the Congress party particularly and Rahul Gandhi keep on attacking the BJP for saying that, you know, our freedom of speech is being crushed or denied, particularly inside parliament, the BJP certainly shows that mirror to the Congress party by talking about the 1977 emergency days when people's rights were taken away. Journalists, for example, were not allowed to report or to write and they were all jailed. So that's one showing of the mirror as far as uh, to the opposition is concerned. But today, the you know, history is also very conveniently used and that's what exactly being done by the opposition parties. They are forgetting their times, but instead what they're trying to accuse the BJP and they are, is that, you know, when even though we have a raising a legitimate rise of right to protest from inside the parliament, we are not being allowed to do so. The cameras don't show us, mics are switched off, and, you know, we are not being allowed to speak. And even when we speak, whatever we say is expunged from the parliament records. Mm. And that's a point which was made by both Kharge today when he wrote that letter. And also, of course, uh, through Congress party also, which is going to be writing to a speaker as well, objecting to expansion of Rahul Gandhi's comments. All right.